city limits is an asset to all, especially to those who reside in the city. I'd like to. And I'm pleased to be here at City Hall so that I can ask the city, maybe not you specifically, but hopefully the words will get to the right person, to buy this land and save what makes El Sereno special for future generations. And
not in our depth. And I'm really against it. And please, you know, I would like to have the permission of you to go ahead and whistle it something so everybody knows, everybody um, in our community knows. I went online, there was nothing online. There was nothing showing what was going to get built in that site. I emailed my, my, my uh, immediate, uh, also friends within the area. They couldn't go online and find out what exactly was in there. And knowing, uh, you know, today's date, at least there should have been something online knowing that what was going up there in, in that video. There was nothing.
teachers. So yes, you do have quality education. But like I said, if your choice is not public, we'll charge her capital. And then we also have Wilson High School. I mean, with all these schools here in our area, the traffic there is awful. I mean, when I go walking in the morning and I'm handicapped with the cane, you know, I have to dodge and, and you know, do a little dance and I'm crossing because some of these parents are, you know, they're in a hurry. I got to go to work. I got to get my kids to school. You know, so you're in a hurry. You get up 10 minutes earlier, but that's not going to happen because you have little Johnny that, you know, can't get up and, and, and get himself dressed. So to me, I'm opposed to this project because it's going to affect me. I'm up to go from this project. Uh, students, there's a lot of there's a lot of choices that parents can make for their students. And if you drive by Elm Street Middle School, you can see the API score, how much they've advanced. So there is quality education in Elm Street. Thank you. I believe in it. I would love to live in there and I have three children. I believe in charter schools and I want them to go there. I have a right to, show, uh, to choose where I want to live, where I want my children to go to school, where I want to shop, if I want to be a business owner. I have a right to be a business owner. So I believe in this project. Uh, everybody's talking about the problems and assuming and assuming. Let's see it. Let's handle with the problems. We're not, uh, we're, uh, you're not going to be the owner. I'm going to be the owner. So let them help. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, let, I'm sorry. Director comments yeah. to me. Let them handle the problems. If I'm going to become a new uh, tenant or a owner, I'm going to complain with them. I'm not going to complain with my neighbor. And my neighbor have a problem with the lighting or the traffic or the transportation. Okay, let's. We're gonna be. I'm gonna become a new member of the community. Let's all work together and let's find a solution. You guys are. Talk, they're talking about blockchain and um, all these problems. Let's see it first. Let's. <laughs> let's, let's. I wanna be there. That's all I can say. I wanna be there. I wanna live in a new environment, safety environment. I want my children to grow up in El Torino too. So. I just want to say 
that I fully support this project and I'm excited for this project. I'm excited for El Torino uh, uh, students to have the same opportunities that these students in Highland Park are having. The same opportunities. Why close ourselves off to that? Why? Because of your views, the beautiful view, traffic, those problems can be resolved with the developer. They, can be, they already exist. They're not new problems that this development is bringing. They're already in existence. Why don't we come together and try to resolve them with this project? That's all I have to say. since I was a kid, and that hill, that hill has always been a nice one. Uh, something developed in that hillside would be better than that ice one that it is right now. Um, as a physicist uh, that came out of an LAUSD uh, educational um, uh, program, I think that having choices for the kids that are coming, you know, for the future generations would be the best outcome for that, you know, the, uh, to be developed, so that's the best use I think that I could have came up for that for that property. Um, and I'm all for the project. I think it will benefit that community. The more schools, the better. Uh, like I said, you know, thinking of my four nephews uh, that I'm helping raise, I think that you know we're only a half a mile away or a quarter mile away, um, and I think that would be awesome for them to have that opportunity of uh, different choice and just daily duty. Uh, Maria, uh, Valdeneda. Hi, my name is Maria Valdeneda. I grew up around the area and I'm for the project. Parents do need choices. Uh, we want the best for our kids. And sometimes smaller classrooms, smaller schools are better. The parking, they do have a structural parking for them. I don't think the issue you have now as the traffic is gonna do anything worse, as in they're gonna drop off the kids up, not, in the, not on the Eastern. I mean, it's a drive up, drop them off, drive down. Um, the blind side, that's not really their issue. That's probably the city's. 
that you have to ask for a light stop or something to control that. Um, I don't know, there's just a lot of things that you guys have to look into and see. There's only one middle school and Wilson High School is that high school, but that one also could go for East LA because it's only that high school right there. And that one's off Soto, which is not really off Huntington. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Um, I'm Manuel Campos, uh, resident for 30 years in El Sereno. Um, I was excited when I first heard the project. I, I really was. Um, I thought something new to the community would be good, beneficial. I think I still think it will be. Um, I spoke to my neighbors and my family, and most were opposed. I was probably the most liberal, um, considering you know just concerning their project. But um, I'm excited about the school. I just think it's in the wrong location. If I think we're going to develop our community. I'd like to see um, Huntington Drive developed. Um, I think it's an eyesore, and I think um, our money would be well spent developing Huntington Drive. So that's what I what I think. Oh, also, just the traffic is the issue with the project. That's if I'm opposed to the project, it's because of the traffic concerns, which are a very serious concern, and then the noise pollution. around the area and no one, no one that I talked to was for this project. There was a couple of people said I reserve judgment. I want to get more information. But no one that I talked to was for this project. And I want to make that emphasize that because I must have canvassed 75 homes and not one person could say they were for this project. It's the impact to this small area is going to be so great with the parking, with the traffic, is going to be horrendous. The safety to our kids, to the people who use the park, the students at the elementary school, the students at the, the junior high there is horrific. It's already bad. It's going to aggravate the situation that we have now. So, I understand people wanting schools. I understand people wanting to have a school close, but not there. That's just the wrong place to put that project. Well, my notes here. Uh, so I implore you, please do not rezone this property to allow this project. Thank you very much.
Um, I know that change is difficult, but what an amazing opportunity to see such a great educational development occur there. Uh, the Academia Basa School boasts a 90% college opportunity rate. What other high school around that area uh, in the surrounding communities can boast that? The only way you can um, get that ratio is if you send your kids to Poly or Mayfield or all of those other private schools. This is an amazing charter school that can boast that. And, and in addition to that, it's a global um, school which allows the, uh, the, the kids have gone to Spain and to China. They've been ambassadors there. And we've been able to house um, the, the Chinese students from Hong Kong as well last summer. And um, that's, that's um, our, one of our missions is to make sure that our students are global citizens as well as um, prepared for the working world, af working world after. Because we have amazing internship programs there as well where our seniors go out to the neighboring um, businesses, of uh, hospitals, uh, law offices, engineering firms, veterinary um, facilities because of that of what they're uh, what they would like to be when they grow up. Um, I think it's an, uh, uh, the developer is so amazing that she is has been very concerned about the community. Uh, the way it used to be 40 units originally in the original plan and has been scaled down to 20. And, and to also um, have a, a charter school like Alvanza to be uh, a, a school that is, would be considered as well. Um, and uh, they talk about the, um, the use of the, of the uh, park there. I mean, our, our kids would be going there and the, would be using the park in the mornings when no one's there. The kids have their own, the, uh, the neighboring schools have their own um, playgrounds and so forth. So we would be in the morning utilizing the park so it wouldn't. Right. Who would be utilizing the the proposed school? The students would may would might be uh, be able to use the park there in the morning the as well. Charter doesn't have their own playground. Yes, they do. Okay, students may be able to see. So um, basically, I just feel it's a great use of the land. Um, the um, the it be another opportunity for for um, El Sereno to thrive in a uh, in a, to have an educational center there where they can thrive in. And um, please note that I do support the program and that I hope that it does go through.
clear the shows that their intention, their intention is to capitalize on extracting every possible dollar by turning this location into an A, excuse me, RAS31 mixed use lot. I, I see that there are 33 potential significant irreversible impacts on our quality of life. Um, mitigating negative declaration is inappropriate, cannot be used for this project because these impacts cannot be lessened or mitigated to any degree of satisfaction. Uh, the mitigating negative declaration that has been submitted does not remotely mitigate the impacts in correlation to the damage caused. These are irreversible damages impacts. You know, the community, the community in this area has rallied against this project by creating a petition. Every impacted home has been visited and the opposition has been unanimous. The residents of El Sereno, El Sereno, including my family, do not want this business or apartments on these parcels. We do not want it rezoned. We want to protect this landscape and keep it the way nature intended to be. Um, I moved recently, two years and a half, to this area. My primary reason was the decision based on open space, <coughs> landscape aesthetics, tranquility, and views that were that I have from the hillside from my house. The beautiful natural nest landscape surrounding the sill was brought to us here by our real estate agent. He checked the zoning and assured us that only potential threat to the sill might be a new single family residence. That's what he told us on the vacant lot. If this